O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Genesis chapter 50. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Our devotional reading is from Reflections on Pentecost from Higher Things for June 28th, Monday. In the name of Jesus, amen. Joseph's brothers are afraid. What if life is fair? What if Joseph's mercy is for their father, but not for them? They know what they deserve. They beg him for mercy and he weeps. Maybe he is remembering all he went through or is still mourning his father. Maybe he's humbled. Maybe he's just heartbroken that his brothers still don't understand. That's the problem with speechlessness. It leaves us trying to understand the response based on our own feelings. It leaves us to fill in our own answers. We do the same before the Lord. Since his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways, predictably we usually get it wrong. God does not want us to fill in the silence on our own. Joseph, full of the Holy Spirit, answers his terrified brothers with a promise that comforts us all. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. He tells them the truth. They meant evil for him. Then he points to God, who has the power that nothing in all creation has. God meant it for good. He took all their evil and wove a web that would bring good out of it. That doesn't make the evil acceptable or justify those who commit it. Only the cross can do that. But it highlights the God who will not leave us to the damage we do to each other and ourselves. He works good from our evil. Only God can take something already ruined and bring about something perfect. Look at the passion of our Lord. Evil everywhere, yet God meant it for good. That many people would be justified, kept alive through death as they are today. The evil is still evil, but it cannot derail God's purposes, that money would be saved. You see that in the cross, too. Now evil is forgiven. You are forgiven. There are times we don't see what God is doing yet, and places he is speechless. It's okay. We go first to the cross where God speaks. It is finished, you are saved. And at the cross we understand the places where he is silent. The greatest thing Joseph tells his brothers is that they aren't the main actors. God is. It means God did this to Joseph. But again, we could find him nearby, on the cross. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The Daily Prayer live stream continues Monday through Thursdays at 7 a.m. with in-person services on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. and Sundays at 9 a.m. at Faith Lutheran Church in Columbus, Indiana. The Lord bless your Monday.